Hey lovelies, I am back after a long... Yeah, well I'm back like I never left. Well, I'm trying to be back like I never left. So, I want to get into this hairstyle. You know, I like to get straight to the point and jump into it. So, I'll continue this intro as we get into this hairstyle. So, basically, this hairstyle is kind of like go big or go home. And because I have a salon face, I kind of wanted to take as much as the hair, you know, back as I can. This is a closure, so I can't really do too much pulling back because it's a 4x4 four four closure. But I hope you like this hairstyle. And I just want to let you know there's no cap underneath this. So, I'll show you what it looked like with a cap and without a cap. So. Yeah. So lovelies, this is Curls Curls 3C4A Texture and it limbs 18 inch and 20 inch and I got a 4x4 18 inch closure and basically when I opened it up, the packaging was beautiful. When I opened up the closure, I was like, yes, because it was curls from the root to the tip. I didn't see no straight piece in sight. So I was definitely excited about that. So I was going to get straight into the pros and the cons, but I'm just going to tell you what I did with this unit real quick before I even get into that. So let's start off with, I sewed in double the webs, I bleached the knots, I constructed the wig, and then I washed the hair. And this is how much shedding I got from the unit, a clump of it. And as you can see, the closure does not match the bundles as far as the frizziness and the color it's frizzy the curl pattern is the same but it's just frizzy anyways so i did a little puck and i cut off the lace i sewed on an elastic band and i cut the baby hair on this unit i defined the curls on this unit using mousse and foam wrap i also put some little accent braids to get the hair off my face because the hair is really full and i laid my baby hair with mousse and gel and you can use edge control too edge control works as well Anyways, let's get into the cons. I'm going to get into the cons first. The closure hair is more frizzier than the bundles. The closure is a different color than the bundles. The ends of the hair frizzes out. The stray hairs from the knots of the closure sticks out and it makes it hard for you to clean up your parts and keep your parts clean without using product. The 18 inches, 20 inches way off in length once it dries. So it's like a gap between the hair. The closure gets dry and a little hard for water to penetrate through it so you have to spray like drench the closure here just to like for the water to like penetrate and you can brush it through to define the curls and this hair is high maintenance and it sheds so it only sheds when being manipulated so if you're running your fingers through it you're washing it you're brushing it you're combing it the hair is gonna shed you're not leaving a trail wherever you walk or at but for those that own curly hair you already know curly hair sheds but for those that don't know i'm just letting you know curly hair sheds and it's completely normal one of the pros is that the hair is thick like I said I constructed this unit into a wig and you'll only see like five tracks if I turn this wig inside out and this hair is so full that you wouldn't even see the big gaps in between the wefted tracks like you wouldn't even see it so that's a pro in my book I love how the closure is curly from the roots to the tips but most of all I love how this hair texture matches my natural hair so much I have received a lot of I have bought and received a lot of curly hair and none of them really mimics a 4a texture to the t it kind of is like what they say 3c 4a so it's a little bit kind of looser than my curl pattern but this right here this is like a perfect match perfect match i even further down in the video i show you a side by side comparison of my hair with this hair perfect match i think my hair is a tiny bit looser but regardless perfect match if you want a 4a hair curl texture this is it this is it i like how full this hair is like for me personally we get away with one and a half bundles with the closure or frontal because this hair is so full and thick bro you don't need to have three bundles four bundles with this hair it doesn't matter if you get a longer length or not two bundles a closure or a frontal whether you're doing a sew-in or leave out, whatever the case may be, is really honestly enough to get a full look with this hair. I would make this hair into a unit. Now, I want to get into solutions for the cons that I named. So, basically, for the closure being frizzy and to define the curls of the closure so it can match the bundles as far as not you know looking so frizzy and afro-y use product mousse gel whatever curling pudding whatever you use to define your curls 
this hair definitely needs products so you will have to use that to get that tame look so the hair does not look more like an afro and it looks more like curls now this hair which to me is a pro because you can get the best of both worlds real quick i'm showing you with the cap and without the cap the cap is on the left like, no cap is on the right this hair goes from curls to an afro real quick real quick so this hair definitely needs product now as far as the knots the knots is kind of big but bleaching it and makeup will be your best friend to get a glueless install like i do elastic band would definitely be perfect to get that glueless install use your gel edge control or whatever the case may be to lay your baby hair if you want baby hair but if you don't want baby hair you don't have to have baby hair and if you go on my instagram you'll see pictures with this hair with no baby hair so for reference and for the straight hairs in the closure, because it's knotted, you will always get those small pieces of hair. All you need to do is get your wax stick or mousse, and that will solve that real quick. It will tame those down. Now right here, I'm showing you how this hair mimics and matches my curly hair so well, like perfect. Anyways, for the 18 inch, once it dries, it gets tighter the curls get tighter so it's like a gap difference between the 18 inch and 20 inch to fix that all you need to do is cut it cut your own layers into the hair and frame it to the way you would like it now for the hair being high maintenance my biggest solution is to make a unit out of this hair and if you don't want to make a wig out of this hair then they do have clippings and they do have already pre-made wigs so you could go ahead and purchase a wig from them or you could purchase their clippings either way being able to take this hair off every day eliminate the high maintenance of the hair it's already defined because you took it off and you placed it on your dome head and you're good to go so is really up to you I give you the pros the cons and solutions for everything so if you want to get you some 4a hair the links are below in the description bar and also make use of my coupon code and comment below how you feel about this hair do you like it do you not like it do you like the style just give me your thoughts until next time lovies later